Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions Maristic. I just posted a story where this neighbor erased a stepson and the father in front of um, his wife. And now it seems like he also get erased by the police. It says, he didn't give us a choice. Cops erased New York men who shot neighbor and stepson execution style and dispute over loud music and dramatic takedown guys can you believe this now it's, it's three down instead of two new york city police say the men hunt for a man who heinously gone down a father and stepson in a brooklyn apartment building over a noise complaint ended with police erased the suspect new york city officers search for murder suspect 47 year old jason pass for three days before finding him on Wednesday, November 1st, hidden out inside a car in Bath Beach, a neighborhood in Brooklyn that's just southwest of East Pla Flatbush, where Pass was caught on video fatally shooting 47-year-old Vladimir Maturin and his 27-year-old stepson, Chain Wayne Mode. Again, guys. The story getting crazier and crazier. According to police, officers found the black Honda CRV pass was hidden inside Wednesday morning. They used a license plate reader to locate the vehicle and pass. After officers at the scene call and police negotiators, they tried talking with pass, captured the plate on a black car indicating that the car and the occupant of the car were wanted for a double horrific homicide nypd chief of patrol john chair said as officers exited the police car they walked up to the car the male jumped out of the car with a knife in his hand and took off running now you see he's a coward indeed until his last minute you act like so strong you went up there hit the people door let them come out erase them in front of his wife and his daughter there you are now hiding in your car like a coward not thinking that you would have to pay any kind of consequences for erasing those people life and you run in with a knife like the coward you are and you get what you get man you get what you get officers chase passed down to Bay 44th Street and Hallway Avenue where they reportedly tried to talk with them for approximately 15 minutes. They had a dialogue doing everything they could to have the male drop the knife. Chell said he didn't give us a choice. He decided to charge at officers, forcing them to protect themselves. NYPD Chief of department jeffrey madri corroborated chell's account and said that pass lunch at one of the officers as he exited his car so officers were forced to shoot pass four times three times in the chest and one time in the leg oh my god they established dialogue spoke for a few minutes and that man launched at one of the officers, causing the officer to fire for their own safety. Madre said a number of officers discharged their weapon. Pass was still breathing after he was shot and was taken to a nearby hospital where he later pronounced erase. Police say the gun Pass used to shoot Modern and mode was not registered to him. They still awaiting a search warrant to pass his pass car and collect more evidence. Surveillance video captured the shocking double murder of Modern and mode on Sunday night in an East Flashbush housing complex. Complex, sorry, pass was allegedly annoyed by loud music. In the apartment above his where Maturin and Maud lived, police say 
the neighbors had been locked in an ongoing dispute about noise for a few years. Again, there it is. You take, you erase two people's life and you still act like a coward and still ended up being where you're at right now. No life. Do you see why it would have been best to have a conversation? It would have been best to have moved. It would have been best to try to sort it out. Now we lose three black people when I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The police were doing their job in this case. I felt like, you know, this guy was at the point he would have done something if they didn't do something. I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. When Paz went up to confront his neighbors, he argued with Maturin and his wife before shooting him, then shot mode, who was trying to flee. Video shows a wanted Maturin trying to crawl away, but Paz walk over and coldly shoots him in the upper body before taking the elevator down to the ground floor and escaping. Pass is a former transit conductor who worked for the MTA between 2012 and 2018. State Department of Correction Records also revealed that Pass was a correction officer huh, at Sing Sing and was sinning for less than a year. He was fired for menacing a co-worker according to law enforcement. Okay, this guy is a trouble person, was a trouble person. He's had some issues and he did not have anything to live for, you know. When somebody don't care about their own life, don't have nothing to live for, whoever come past them is in danger. And how many other people we have around us or we have in, in, in the state where we live that has nothing to live for like this um shooting we had at the bowling alley this guy had mental problems he did not care for anything there was a point in life where people do not have anything to live for so instead of them do whatever they plan to do anyway they take it on themselves to take a few people with them it is a coward, it is a selfish and ridiculous way of living this planet, of living this earth, but they do what they do. And it's sad that we have two people gone for somebody that will be gone also three days later from, for being a coward, running with a knife and a bunch of police behind you with gun. Like what could you have done to save yourself and go hide in the car? The cowardness of, of somebody committed a crime. And trying to save their own life by hiding in the car or in the basement, a family member's house. Didn't you think about the consequences before you act? Didn't you know somebody was going to be after you? Didn't you know judgment would have to come? Like, why don't you think of the consequences of the result of the aftermath before you commit a crime or before you react, before you do something, period, in life? Think about it. Is it going to be positive? Is it going to be negative? Should I have act like this? What's going to happen to me? What's, what's the consequences? What's the result of what I'm about to do? Think about it first. But no, you first act, commit the crime, and then you act like a coward, try to hide from the police. It's disgusting. It's outrageous. Three lives have been lost that could have been saved by just talking about the situation and save each other. But you know what? The, the easy way of getting a gun these days, that's, that's the result of what's going on right now. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. He's no longer a suspect. He's not an erased man. And that's what happened. When you take a coward move, your life end up erased the same way you erase somebody else's. I wonder what went to his mind the minute he sees those guys started to hmm, subscribe.